Whiplash is an injury you've probably heard people get from car accidents, but actually it can be from a lot of other traumas as well. Hi, my name is Dr. Zach Shaw, and I'm a upper cervical chiropractor with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and today we're going to talk about whiplash. So most people think whiplash is when you get in a car accident, and let's say you're getting, you get hit from behind and your head goes back and then forward really hard. Yeah, that's a form of whiplash, but it could also be from a sports injury, maybe a slip and fall, any type of movement where basically your body stops and your head continues to go, or your head stops and your body keeps going, is a whiplash injury. And a whiplash injury is specifically an injury of the neck. Why? Because one's going, one's staying still, and the middle part, or your neck, is what takes all that force. Now the problem with this whiplash injury is a lot of times they can be silent. You may have pain for a day or two, maybe even a couple weeks, but eventually that pain subsides and everyone thinks they're good to go. But I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. Actually, many, many people who come into our office who may be dealing with neck pain, or maybe they're dealing with back pain, or maybe a stomach problem, or maybe a breathing problem, I don't know, but we can almost always attribute it back to some type of injury, and usually that's a whiplash injury. And this injury could be from decades ago. So how does this happen? Well, when a whiplash injury occurs, not only does it hurt the tendons and ligaments in the neck, but it also is very possible that the top bone in the neck, or the atlas bone, which I have right here, this top bone in your neck can misalign. Now, you need to know that the brain, the brain stem, and the spinal cord have no pain perception. And the atlas surrounds the brain stem, which means that if this bone is misaligned around the brain stem and it's putting pressure on the brain stem, you could never know it because it has no pain perception. You may never have any headaches or neck pain, no issues at all, but this bone's misaligned. And over time, as that bone stays misaligned and you continue to grow and that neck gets worse and worse and more degenerated, even though you may feel nothing, eventually something's going to arise. We know that then when there's pressure on the nerve system, you're not gonna function or heal like you should, and usually symptoms occur with that. So again, these are the effects of whiplash. It's the misalignment that causes issue over time. And what happens? You may go to the hospital and you got some neck pain from whiplash, and they give you some painkillers, they give you some muscle relaxers, and those help. And it may help the tendons and ligaments heal over time and hopefully mitigate some of that suffering or the pain you're experiencing, but it never fixes that misalignment. So we never get to the cause of certain conditions that may arise from your body, all due to that fender bender you had 20 years ago, 20 years ago excuse me, that caused a mild, if you will, whiplash that you didn't even go to the hospital for, maybe you had a couple of days of neck pain, but over time it really, really caused an issue. So how does this whiplash affect the rest of my body? Shouldn't I just have neck pain over time from a whiplash injury? Well, no. When the brain stem is compressed, when you have a misalignment here, it can literally affect the entire nerve system, which is why we see other issues when people have a misalignment up here. The other thing is when this bone misaligns, it always has to keep the brain balanced. So when it's misaligned, the body's gonna force compensations throughout the spine. And these compensations over time, whether they be in your upper back, your low back, even all the way down to your knees and feet, these compensations eventually turn into weak spots after gravity pushes down on them for years and years. And those weak spots eventually turn into pain. So we can do whatever we want to those weak spots, but until we get to the cause, which is that misalignment, which may be from a whiplash injury, until we get to that cause, there's not much we can do. So, if you've had a whiplash injury in your past, really any injury where maybe you hit your head on something or your body stopped while your head kept going or vice versa, let's get checked by an upper cervical doctor today. 